Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. Last time in our video, we completed so some remaining EOS quests, saved a crew member or a worker, and now we're just about to take on this side quest nearby. So, now I know last video we were right on the ship, but I kind of messed everything up due to a failed video and stuff. We are on hazard, radioactive hazard 1, level 1. And we are nearby somewhere. We left off it right on the Tempest and now we are Heading back to EOS to do this quest. Uh, where are we right now? I think we're supposed to go up somewhere. But how do we go up? To be through this cave or some sort. Could be. Alright, let's drop off this pendant. And then back to the Nexus. Oh, here we are. Pathfinder, this is the spot where Nigel McCoy wanted you to leave his pendant. In honor of his brother, Dash McCoy. Looks like that quest is complete. For now, let's head back to the Tempest. Get to our know our crew. Loading screen is taking way too long. Here we are. Time to set sail back to the Nexus.
Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? You're professionals. I'm not going to babysit bunk assignments. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning. A number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It and looked active. We have to we get left on. Off. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical? Good meeting, everyone. Good job, Ryder. Now, why don't we get to know our crew a bit more better? We'll start from the top deck, work our way to the bottom. And neglect your prosthetics. Those remnant vaults, all those secrets. I have to go exploring in one someday. Imagine flying through one. Now that would be a real hazard course. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? Oh, fine, fine. Don't worry about it. What can I do for you? If you helped to build the Tempest, you must know plenty about her. <sighs> this is going to take a while, though. By memory, it was quite the effort to get her working. So the initiative needed with me absolutely if I don't up to date talk technology, which we all had to coordinate. Session. And some of it was rather tricky to acquire. Acquire? By legally and above board, of course. <clears throat> yes. 
Sadly, the other Pathfinder vessels were lost when the Scourge hit the Nexus. The Tempest is truly unique. I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. Sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into 40-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well, I can't talk about Suvi. She's sitting right there. I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. Oh no, I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> I'll let you concentrate. Well. You know where I'll be. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean... a god? Yes. I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd. But I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. Sorry if I don't talk much during this session. You definitely have an interesting perspective on the interplay between faith and science. I'd really like to pick your brain on that sometime. Maybe over drinks? The Nexus? I, uh... I'd like that. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? With what it has to do, it could go thousands of miles below the surface of the planet. Or completely span it. An underground network. Just a thought, of course. I wouldn't even know where to start hypothesizing how it all works. The remnant builders, whoever, whatever they were, accomplished something far beyond us. Hmm. What do you know about the remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition, there's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. I'm really glad you volunteered to join our crew, by the way. I am too. You galaxy and all. I'm honored to be here. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> what do I choose? What do I choose? No, I mean... I think you're cute and I like seeing you up here. Oh my goodness, writer! Also, the accent. The accent is... I mean, it's not the only thing, but... Uh... Okay, I should just... Go over there to the piloting... Thing. Kill. Me. Now. Writer. <laughs> Awkward. You. And so you know... The feelings mutual. Yes. 
I mean, time to pass fine. Serious business. Saving everyone. <laughs> Right now we're just checking our messages, see what updates we got or quests available. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time lapse. I get it. You want to know What's who's on your ship, Peabody? so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents, just trying to. I look forward, not back, writer. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. You left everything and everyone you knew because you were bored? No. I came with someone I knew. Then she got bored with me. <laughs> Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Well, scored Who major points to her. In my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned, which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone. Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. Now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? I don't know. Don't friends and loved ones make all the effort worthwhile? I've always been self-motivated. Don't need much more than curiosity to drive me forward. What drew you what to the remnant? What is the remnant to you, PB? Are PB? you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech? It's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. That ex-friend I mentioned, my accomplice, she finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, 
bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. You really won't tell me what you're working on? That's right. Next question. Well, that's so, how do you like the disappointing. Team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right, Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? She's exactly what she should be. Capable, reliable. She's a valuable part of my team. Sure, sure. That comes across, too. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's an Asari. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Nice room. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids. But I always loved them. I... Daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. Let's get everyone fed before we start flower gardens. Fair. But everyone around here has dreams. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Mm. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed so better. Is a huntress. I just didn't see how I'd That's fit into their brave new thing. galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said... I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted, my rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. It sucks. You gotta let it, it go. Happened. We need your mind on the mission. Always is. 
but I'm human too. Yeah. Need time to find a way through. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Hi there. What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. Your time defending Silva's expedition was probably more important. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in Asari space. What was your commando unit like? Janae and I were the youngsters. Tethys was our old lady sniper. Kalia patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. Our CO, Nasira, led us all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. A huntress's work is never done. Every civilization needs its defenders. And the defenders usually match their civilization. Like Asari huntresses being adaptable as hell. Makes you wonder what our militia will look like in a hundred years. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete that's an yet. interesting thing. Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but... I was there for soldiering, not romance. I was just wondering. Careful. One day I might be this nosy about your personal life. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. The Prothean digs woke us up to how much we don't know, and to what humanity's next leap might be. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. We needed to start over somewhere new. Together. Or as together as we could. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think it's small, sure do is you? a long conversation. After four years with Asari commandos, but he it'll must be have worth some great it. war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Wow. How See do you, you kill later, someone Cora. with a pack of cards? I'll be here. I wonder. Yeah, whatever. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the nomads than tackle emotions head on. Suvi okay? Suvi's strong sense of faith keeps her grounded. I'm not spiritual, but there's a beauty in how her mind rationalizes religion and science. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps. But he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused. Or hurt. How's Liam? A handful. Every time I patch him up, he breaks something new. Liam's we can't lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. 
I'd like to check in on the non-human crew. Ask away. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. <sighs> that being said, I think she could use a little me time. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I asked? Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, <laughs> you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. Thanks for the insight. How did you get into medicine? My mom was a dancer on Omega. PB Dad was is a afraid of I'd Lexi, patch him up after think. busy nights. Discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Messing with that vault feels like early brain surgery. Just poking and hoping. As long as it helps us to... Olivia, I don't care how the vault's doing it. Health Gill. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Not much to Good say talking here. To you, Gil. Anytime. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving, and everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone. Bleh. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. Hmm. Have anyone else here with you? I Besides, see what you're no, doing, Ryder. Just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean, someone special. Special? Oh. You mean like. Oh. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? Anywhere's gonna feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. A romantic? I wasn't expecting that. Then again, the entire idea of leaving everything you know for a chance at something new is kind of romantic. Um, anyway. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Hey, Ryder. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. That was the only option there. Prodromos. Prodromos. Sounds good, doesn't it? We started Pathfinder. A new life. That... Is goddamn brilliant. Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. Your Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. <laughs> Just stopping by for not much. Just showing some interest? Ugh. <laughs> Bad opening, Pathfinder. <laughs> You're better than that. Yes, well, screw it. <laughs> Flirting with the crewmate, eh, a rider? <laughs> Alright, interest returned. 
Let's back to that for another day. We'll talk later. I know it. talking to cash nexus superintendent thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter i like the no trouble plan how about we stick with that <laughs> cash said not too much trouble kid not no trouble you can't make sure some trouble's always coming for you that's not reassuring life out here ain't reassuring you'll get used to it is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. What's it like to have Kesh as a granddaughter? Kesh is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. I'm still getting to know her. There's no Krogan like my Rushan. She's worth knowing. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Anything about the cat? Or combat in general? Well, common cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. Tell me more about fighting Ket. Wraiths are sneaky little shits like the ghost up behind you when you least expect it. Just listen for them. They tend to give themselves away right before coming at you. Break through their head plates, then a headshot should do the trick. Okay, I had no idea what they mean by Pie Jack. Did Lexi brief you on Sam and squad connectivity yet? Yeah. You want to hook that thing up to my comm, sure, but that's where it stops. Putting an AI in your head, giving it access to everything like that, it's begging for trouble. Why do you say that? I've seen what bots can do when they turn on their creators. Been in some of those fights. There's a reason that kind of research was outlawed. Yeah? My peacekeeping career went up in smoke when news of what my dad was researching got out. No shit. Ruined the writer name, I'll bet. Almost. Sam is part of what makes someone a Pathfinder. Yep. You're just going to have to deal with that. Rider so and Sam, it's not the in my package head, deal. And it ain't messing with my body. 
Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. I had Spender, no idea there Addison's was a mutiny. The lied about the deal, and Tan came down hard. Too hard. So we left. Cash is alone on that station now. You think someone might try to hurt Cash? Oh, more like she airlocks Spender. Or he tries to stab her in the back, and then she airlocks him. Dan wouldn't listen to me when I told him Spender had a part in the mutiny. I had no proof. So what's my part in this? Things need to get sorted out, and my clan needs to get back on station, without Spender messing things up. The way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. Hmm. How did you and Vetra meet? Ha, huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for cash right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. She really has a way of getting things done. She sure does. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Cash's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Cash all along. They're both still laughing at me over that. Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable. It works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Krogan farm? Just because we can eat That's anything odd. doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. I'm pretty fond of Corkrow roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. So, about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! <laughs> the list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now. Centuries. Shit, well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? You need luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. And a really hard head. We can talk more well, later. Well, I guess that's about... Sure. That about does it hey, for the one last thing. post EOS yeah. conversation. Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, huh, when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. Huh. <laughs> Is everyone a kid to you? Hello, Sarah. Eos has been a lesson in contrast. Alec Ryder rarely endured doubt. His accomplishments were taken for granted. But you succeeded on Eos despite doubt and fear. Emotionally, the difference is like catching a ball versus catching a star. You have grown as a result, and so have I. Not much to talk about with Sam. Is it confusing to be in multiple places, talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a SAM node technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more.
time to head back to the Nexus. detected. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Mining. Let's head back to the next one. do here. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here real quick.